What is up, Whaler fans, and welcome back to some more NCAA 14. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Today's matchup is against Syracuse. They are currently 3-2. and two. When they started the season, they were ranked because that is the only reason they would be on our schedule. But obviously, they've had some rough times. We're going to get into who they've lost to this season. But first off, the Barrel Whalers. We are currently number one right now. 5-0, had a little bit of a scare last week when we almost lost to Wisconsin, ended up winning that game on a two-point conversion. If you haven't seen that episode, make sure you check it out. Also, guys, I wanted to mention to you that if you get tired of me playing against the computer all the time, I actually do have a video that is out now where I went up against another YouTuber that plays NCA 14. His name is Kay Freezy. Make sure you check out that video. I will leave a link in the description below. Now, let's go ahead and look at this preview because we're going to war. Looks like Kirk Street is still rocking with us, even though we had a little bit of a scare last week. Syracuse is not that good of a team. They are bees across the board. Looking at Syracuse's schedule, they did start the season 2-0, and then they went and lost two in a row after that. But they only lost by seven points in each game. So they have been in every single game. And then they absolutely destroyed Boston College last week, 49-7. Looking at the roster for Syracuse, nothing jumps out to me that has me scared at all for this game. Their best player is a middle linebacker, and he is only a 91. In fact, they actually have a lot of good linebackers, so we got to watch out for that core. And then their best wide receiver is a 90 overall and doesn't even have that great of speed. It's at an 89. Uh, if you go all the way down, it's going to take us a while to get to their quarterback. Caldwell is an 84 overall, 70 speed, so we're going to be playing a lot of man coverage. And uh, let's see if we can get after this quarterback. Before we get into the Heisman watch, I just had to bring this up because I think this is awesome. Just off the radar, Okafor is starting to be noticed as the force behind Notre Dame's ground game. Guys, if you keep up with my channel, you know that I do a separate series on NCAA 07 with Christian Okafor. Last season, I decided to incorporate him into this series, and it's nice to see that he actually might win the Heisman in this series as well as the one I'm doing in NCAA 07. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at the Heisman watch. Doesn't look like Okafor has cracked the top five, but Sims is still sitting at number one, and I think this might be a first. Every single player that is up for the Heisman right now is a halfback. All right, here we go, man. Playing in the dome. I've never actually played at Syracuse, and this stadium looks awesome. We got Sims back deep. Really hasn't done much in the kicking game after that first game of the year where he returned three kicks for touchdowns. But we got a chance to get something going right here. He's able to make it almost to midfield. We got that boy Yakovich back out onto the field at quarterback. Hopefully he has a better passing game than he had last week. As always, we're going to start the game off with a triple option. Whoop, pitch it out. There we go, Bell. Keep going. Making a move. Can we outrun the defense? We're gone. No one's going to catch us. We're going in for the six on the triple option. That was sick, baby. All right, so I'm hyped for this already, man, with that triple option TD. I am definitely going to want to play mistake-free football today. No interceptions. Going to play good on defense as well. You got nothing, quarterback. Play with Keith Jr. down here. Kind of did a little shuffle step. Should have got the quarterback in the backfield. He should not have picked up that first. It always surprises me when NCAA 14 tries to do the option with like 70 speed quarterbacks. But sometimes it does work. There we go, Baker. Way to come in and fill. So far, all Syracuse has done is run the ball. I wonder when they're going to start passing the rock. Still running it. There we go. Another good tackle by Julian Baker. All right, here we go. This is definitely going to be a pass right here since it's 13. And I'm looking to make sure they don't run a corner route. Underneath, they pick up the first with the tight end. Come on. Get to the quarterback, guys. Pick that. Ooh, incomplete, baby, incomplete. Quick pass. Nice play, Van Curen, the freshman. All right, here we go, baby. Playing some more, man. We'll cover one, and then we also have a quarterback spy with Meadows. Everybody should be locked up right here. Air going five wide as well. Nope, thank you. That boy Wells is 6'4", baby. You're not going to be able to throw over that man. All right, here we go, baby. Offense back out onto the field. Let's do triple option again. We're doing it with Bell, just a different variation. Ooh, pitching it again. Oh, Bell almost tried to do another spin move in the open field. Let's go ahead and get Sims going. I want to make sure he gets his Heisman numbers. 
Oh, gets up that first down after contact. Curl routes open. Enoch. Okay, Ryan, that's your first pass attempt, and it didn't look good. Oh, Gutierrez is open. Oh, I kind of threw a little short. There we go, run away, Gutierrez. Yes! Little user catch right there. Whoop! Yakovich, there we go. First down, baby. No fumbling by you today. Down here in the red zone, man. Start just handing it off to Sims. I don't need to make any bonehead mistakes getting picked. Ooh, little halfback draw. They were not fooled. Looking for Banks and Bell down here. These guys are both like 6'5". Oh, yes, sir. Bell, touchdown, baby. Give it to me. Second touchdown of the game for the sophomore. You know what? We're going to press these receivers. I'm just going to straight up make this quarterback have to fit it into tight windows. We're also bringing the blitz with Meadows. Oh, okay. Get the slant on Amarine for the first. All right, here we go. Second and 12. Passing the rock. No one to throw to. Oh, Phillips looking to get an interception. Just got the deflection. Third and 12, we're bringing the blitz, man. We're pressing everybody. Oh, there we go. Providing the pressure with Smith. He had to get it out quick, baby. All right, here we go. Yukovic back out onto the field. Started getting a little bit of rhythm in this throwing game. Oh, my gosh. Should have pitched it with Sims. He was sitting out there all by himself, but I thought I could cut it up with Yukovic. Come back. Oh, Enoch Williams. Not the greatest throw, but he makes a play. Oh, here we go, baby. Come on, Ace. Get that corner out. Looks like they're playing man on you, too, with an impact player. Supposed to lob it a little bit. Yakovich, don't throw a strike. Well, I told you I wasn't going to make any mistakes, and there you go. One interception today already. Hopefully, I can put that in the bed. We got here trying to run it. Yes, we're able to stop him at the line of scrimmage. Pass coming on the blitz. Let's go. There we go. No one was open. Another punt. All right, we got to forget about the last drive. Come on, Yukovic. We're going to erase that from our mind, and we're going to hand the ball off to Sims right here. Nice throw. Gutierrez. Show the speed, baby. Pick up the first. Playing man. Nice strike to Williams. Pitch it. Pitch it. Pitch it. Oh, Yukovic picking up seven. Curl cool route with Ace looks good. We should be able to hit it. We're bringing the blitz. No, can't hit it. We can hit R1, though. Henderson. Haven't said his name today. Everything starts to get a little tight down here, so we got to do some running. Yukovic. Okay, third and inches. Okay, we're just going to pound it in there with Sims now. Wow, they got a lot of guys in the back. Look at that, man. They got six guys on the line of scrimmage. Quick pass to Banks. Let's go. Oh, let's just run it in. There we go, Yukovic. Way to use your wheels, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see, man. Way to come back and get a touchdown drive together. Ooh, defense, man. Still got the goose egg up. Let's keep it up, man. Keep grinding away here. We're going to try to go up the middle. And we got Hebel right there on the tackle. Yeah, that's right. We're pressing your receivers. What are you going to do? Get down there, Smith. Oh, ran right by him. Got to work on the sticks. There we go. Hebla. Oh, ball's out. Bats got it. Nice job, Hebla. Way to strip it. Keep pouring it on him. Keep running the option. Bentley cutting it upfield gets five. Oh, they are pressing Williams. You know what that means. We're going to go up top of the fade. See if we can get a good release. Got him. See ya. That's TD, baby. Enoch Williams. Dude, 28 nothing right now. I am tempted to start putting in the second stream. Bringing some more blitzers, this time with Baldwin and Meadows. Someone's got to get free. They're trying to run the screen. 
Get downhill, Emery. No, Phillips gets him out of bounds though. Hughes knows that we're trying to be very aggressive here on the blitz, so they're starting to throw these little quick screens, trying to get us out of position. Meadows, there we go. Here we go, baby. Third down. We got everything covered. Can't throw underneath. Yes, we get the sack with Hebla, baby. That is a coverage sack all day. If we score right here, I'm very tempted to put the second string in, but the thing is, is that I need Sims to get his yards. Makes no sense taking him out of the game with like four yards rushing. Hit Sims. There we go. Into Syracuse territory. 35 seconds left. Let's call another timeout. We're going to see what they do here. Just running four verts. If nothing's open, hopefully we can run it with Jakovic. They're not playing quarterback contained. Picked. I thought he was going to come back to the rock. Okay. Two picks for Jakovic. I figured Bell would go underneath that linebacker, not over the top of him. Oh, don't let them get anything right here towards the end of the half, guys. Oh, I thought Wells was about to pick that. All right, what are they going to try to do? Do something underneath. Get him down, boy. There we go, Meadows. Flag on who? Pick, pick. Thank you, Amarine. Back to the end zone. Tiptoeing it in, baby. We got five seconds left. All right, we're going into the half, guys. 28 to nothing lead. Defense has been playing spectacular. Offense, we've had our good and bad moments. I'm not going to lie. So far, we've been balling on defense. Let's keep it up right here. Getting the pressure. Woo! Quarterback doesn't even have a chance to look at the D. Wells coming into the box. We're bringing him on a strong safety blitz. There we go, Smith. Nice tackle in the open field. That brings up third down. I think they're probably going to try to run it up the middle right here. Let's try to squeeze this line down. There we go. Oh! Oh! We had him in the backfield, and he's able to break a tackle. Oh, a little screen. Get over there, baby. He's still going. Here we go. Finally, we get enough whalers over there. All right, here we go, man. Bringing the blitz from the boundary. We got Wells and Newton over here. Both of them are coming. They pick up both of them. Wide open in the middle of the field. Smith and... Oh, there we go. Key Jr. Oh, not able to make the play. Smith can't make it either. Baker finally makes the tackle, but he gets 11. They're going to try to run it again. Yes, they do. But we got guys in the backfield. Looks like their starting running back got hurt on that last play. Now we got Williams involved in the game. Oh, wow. Wide open. Phillips, nice tackle. Going five wide. We got a little bit of a spy. Oh, that's touchdown. I was pressing. If they get a good release, that is going to happen sometimes. All right, we got to get Sims going in this second half. He has done nothing. Right up the middle. Ooh, little step of step. Picking up the first. Let's get it out to Sims. There you go. Run away. Run away. Oops, stutter step. Still going. Still going. I did that step back cheese, baby. All right, so the starting running back, Jackson, has a bruised knee. He is out for the rest of the week. Bentley now getting a chance to run the rock. Woo. Oh, good play by the linebacker. Oh, Sims is still going on his feet. Gain of 12. I literally thought we were about to take a loss right there. I cannot believe Sims kept going. And Yukovic going in for the score, baby. Second touchdown of the game with his legs. All right, dude, we got to sharpen up a little bit. Got rid of the goose egg, but we still are absolutely destroying this Syracuse offense. Let's keep it up. Pick. Thank you, that boy Baker. Coming through, getting a nice little pick after getting the touchdown thrown on him. So the game plan is, is that I'm going to keep using the first team until we start the fourth quarter. And then after that, I'm going to put the second teamers in. Banks looks open right here. Let's see if they jump the route. Yep, looks like they're jumping it. And we're just going to run because it's man, Yukovic, and we're out of bounds. 
Kovic might be close to 100 yards rushing today. He's got 70 almost. Find the block, Sims. Keep going, baby. Keep trucking. Gain a nine. We're going to go hurry up and pound it in right here. They can grab the line, but I believe in our O-line. Look at the push. Look at the push we're getting. And Sims is able to get into the end zone. His first touchdown of the game. All right, D, come on. Let's keep doing what we're doing, baby. This time we're playing a little bit of zone. Oh, they're going to try to run the corner route. That's what I went with, and they found the slants underneath. Oh, he's going to try to run it. We were playing man, so that was a smart move by the quarterback. Oh, oh, he caught it. Wow, okay. Mackin's got that underneath. Oh, they still pick up the first down. Phillips, where you at, baby? Come on, I want to see you get a pick today. Underneath, Wells with a huge hit. Receiver Mayard holds on to the rock. Oh, we're just trying to run the option. Wells, boom, baby. Oh, is he hurt? <laughs> Wells put that quarterback on his back, and I think he's hurt now. Yes, sir. That's what happens when you run the option against the Whalers, bro. All right, here we go. Start of the fourth quarter. I'm going to let the first team defense play this series out, and then I'm going to put in the subs. Oh, try to run the screen. Get over there, Meadows. Nice. And Phillips over there to really finish the job. Pick. Thank you, and Marine with the knockdown, baby. Turnover on downs. All right, here we go. We got the second teamers in. We got Reynolds at quarterback, and we're going to try to just keep doing what we're doing, man. We're going to be aggressive on offense still. Oh, yeah, Bentley. Go, Bentley. Outrun that man. One person I've not been able to get going today is Ace, man. We need to get this guy a catch. Underneath. That was a bad throw. Ace was open on the slant. Come on, Reynolds. You got to hit him. Third and 10. We got five wide. We got to find somebody right here. I'm looking at Henderson. Maybe Ace. He might be on the backside there. They are bringing the blitz. Just let it go. Incomplete. Ace could not get away from his man. And uh, I put the second team defense in as well. I do not know why the starters are still in the game. Newton with a nice play. Oh, little curl route underneath. Baker with a huge hit. Oh, here you know. You know it's a curl. Oh, there's no one over there for the screen. Phillips, thank you, man. You saved a touchdown right there. Bring the pressure. No one gets to the quarterback. Ooh, well, still hitting people. Let's go, Newton. Come on. Get you a sack. Get that pressure. Oh, wide open is Lee. Oh, little option play. No, we got him with Keith Jr. in the backfield. We have not said Keith Jr.'s name at all today. I think that is his first tackle of the game. Get there, right? Get there. No one wants to bring this man down. He's able to break two tackles. Come on, second string. Don't make me regret putting you in now. Like, I subbed the second string offense in and the first string comes out. It is 42 to 14. It's not like they're going to come back. We don't have to have the first teamers in. Oh, bring the blitz. I like it because we're running the screen with Sims. If we can just get it off. I literally said hike, and then I tried to throw it immediately, and we still couldn't get it off. Sims, just go straight up the middle. Pick it up the first down. There we go. I'm looking for Banks right here on the drag route. He's open. Hit him. Plowing through into the red zone at the three. Yukovic, third rushing touchdown of the game. Option too easy in that situation. We're going for two because we want to put 50 on these boys. Sims taking it in. There we go. The magic 50. For whatever reason, man, they do not trust the second team to be out here. Meadows, Phillips on the tackle. Oh, screen. Key Jr. <laughs> Got a little too anxious right there, man. 
Oh, they're keeping it with the quarterback. Baldwin with the tackle. Who we got over there? Baldwin with the tackle. Dude, there's about three other Whalers there as well. Oh, trying to run the screen. Woo, Key Jr. almost could have picked that one off, man, but he makes the tackle in the backfield. This should be it. Last play of the game right here. What are they going to do? Oh, they're going to try to run the screen this time with right. I actually tried to go for the pick right there. Press triangle and everything. He didn't even raise his hands, and that's going to be it. So this game pretty much played out just like I thought it would. We just overpowered him, man. Winning 50-14. to 14. Jokovic, the player of the game. Uh, still made some mistakes, man. Throwing two interceptions. It could have been a lot worse out there, man. We could have put 70 on these boards. Looking at the player stats, man. Jokovic. 10 completions on 15 attempts, 222 yards, two touchdowns, two picks, did get sacked once. Reynolds came in one for four for 12 yards. Something is going on with their passing accuracy, man. We cannot hit open receivers to save our lives. Sims, 11 carries for 59 yards and a touchdown. Jokovic, 71 yards on 10 attempts for three touchdowns. And Bell also had a touchdown on a 57-yard triple option play to start the game off. Receiving Enoch Williams, 3 for 81, a touchdown. Gutierrez, 2 for 63. Sims, 2 for 23. Banks, 1 for 25. Bentley, 1 for 12. Henderson, 1 for 20. And Bell, 1 for 10, and a touchdown. Defense, man, led by Baker with 8 tackles. Phillips, 7. Wells, 6. Meadows, 5. Smith, 5. Baldwin, 4. Hebla, 4. Valentin, 3. Keith Jr., 3. Amarine, 2. Looking at sacks on the day, we got one sack with Hebla, and we got three picks. Baker, Wells, and Amarine each got an interception. Kicking game, Casey, no field goals was six of six for extra points. All right, after that victory, we did get another commit. 78 overall cornerback, that is going to be huge, Lawrence Williams. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for me. I was so looking forward to this matchup. Before I simulated the week, Texas A&M was sitting at number two. Unfortunately, they did lose to Georgia last week, so now they are number seven. If anybody knows me, they know that I went to Texas A&M. I played football at Texas A&M, but I am a Whaler through and through, baby. I bleed Whaler blue. Let's go ahead and get this victory against a top 10 team next week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I am the coach. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'm out.